Hi and welcome to the head office of the Fire Brigade Union. We're joined by General Secretary Matt Rack just after a 24 hour fire strike and a demonstration where thousands of firefighters uh, demonstrated in London and effectively closed down Westminster for a period of time. Matt, extraordinary scenes yesterday. What are your thoughts on it? Well, I think the first thing to say is to congratulate members for the strike action they've taken. Nobody wanted to be doing that again. Uh, and we have to remember people have lost money again, nobody wants to be on strike, nobody wants to be on strike in the fire service, but people have stuck together, they've shown solidarity and determination, that's the first thing to say. And then as you say, there was, uh, there was the demonstration in London, there was also a demonstration in Newcastle at the same time, and there were people on picket lines all over the country, so there's thousands of our members involved in activity yesterday. Uh, in central London, we, we packed out, we couldn't uh, get any more people in, to one of the biggest venues for meetings in central London, uh, Methodist Central Hall. Hundreds and hundreds of people were not able to get into the meeting. So th as you say, thousands were there, fantastic uh, rally, a fantastic mood. Uh, and then we, we went on a march. We marched uh, across to Parliament. We asked if David Cameron, we asked the, the police and other authorities if they could uh, get a message to David Cameron to come and speak to us about the letter we sent him. Uh, of course he didn't, uh, we marched to Downing Street, but yeah, firefighters effectively shut down uh, Parliament for, and Westminster for a whole uh, couple of hours. And these really were extraordinary scenes, uh, and a number of commentators uh, have commented on it, and yet no mainstream press coverage. I mean, what's your views on that? Well, I've been on lots of demonstrations in my time, Tam. Uh, normally not allowed into Parliament Square, nobody stopped us, the police didn't stop us from marching into Parliament Square. Um, and uh, you do wonder what it takes to get into the mainstream media. There are dozens and dozens of journalists in the House of Commons all the time, camped out in there. It's clear when people talk about the Westminster bubble, they live in this totally artificial world, totally uninterested, it seems, in what's gone on, going on outside. It's real political engagement from our members. We've also been in there talking to MPs, and again, hundreds were in the House of Commons trying to talk to MPs. Uh, it really is uh, quite remarkable. I think uh, people, it, it will be, again, open people's eyes to what's going on in the media today. We've had an extraordinary political campaign, uh, an extraordinary industrial campaign, pretty much culminated yesterday. I suppose the obvious question is, what next for the pensions campaign? Well, I think the first thing is that uh, the message must go to the government and the employers and anyone else who's uh, interested in this issue that uh, firefighters are not going away, they're not giving up on that. I think the mood yesterday was absolutely fantastic. And there's a whole range of views in the union about what the next step and It's a democratic organisation. We have to take account of all of those views. The Executive Council, I think, needs to sit down, uh, take feedback from members who've been from their, through all the committees in, in the union. Um, and, and consider what we do next. But I think one obvious one to me is the general election. There is a general election. I think the point was made by Kate Hoey, the chair of our parliamentary group, that actually a general election is the chance for ordinary citizens, ordinary voters to hold politicians to account. Whatever party they're in, did they vote with us in December or did they vote against? Did they go along with the, the, the facts or did they go, fall for the lies that were told in Parliament? So we hold them to account we have to demand that the Labour Party actually does something very clear. And again, I think Kate was very good on this point. Labour should put something in their manifesto about our pensions. We've done a huge amount of work. We've won the arguments. That needs to be done. And I think we need to pursue David Cameron over the fact that uh, lies have been told in Parliament to force through that legislation. We, we can't afford to let that drop. And finally, Matt, thousands of firefighters were in picket lines this week. And indeed, thousands of firefighters came to London to demonstrate this week. Have you got a message for them? Well, I have to say it's, it makes me immensely proud to be able to work for, for, for firefighters, uh, to see the determination, the solidarity. As I have to say, there's not many organisations could do what we did yesterday in terms of filling that uh, hall at short notice, quite short notice, filling that hall, filling the streets uh, and bringing central London to a standstill on that basis. They've been absolutely fantastic. Uh, they need to carry on sticking together and looking after each other. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Tom. A very strong message from the General Secretary there. For further updates, uh, please go to our website, www.fbu.org.uk, or if you use Twitter, please follow the Union's Twitter account, which is at FBU National. But until the next time, Matt, thanks very much. <laughs>